Hi, I'm Jen and I'd like to introduce you to the EOS R7, Canon's new enthusiast level mirrorless camera. Join me in this video as we take a look around the R7 and discuss some of its fantastic new features. Picking up the camera for the first time, it really feels familiar for anyone who's been shooting on either a Canon DSLR or a mirrorless camera. It's light, but the grip feels great. And the main dial on top is perfect for easy access to changing modes. On the back of the camera, we have the flip out varied angled LCD screen with full touch control. And it packs away really nicely to protect the screen when the camera's in your bag. And up on the top here, we have something different. It's a new quick control dial and multi controller all in one. So on the outside, we have the dial which spins around and on the inside, we have the directional control for up, down, left and right. This has been designed for use when shooting through the electronic viewfinder. So you can control both the wheel and the dial with your thumb all in the one location for quick access. On the top here, we also have a new multi-function shoe. This first featured on the EOS R3. This is compatible with a range of new accessories, which are smaller and more lightweight because they're powered by the battery of the camera rather than their own batteries. On this side here under the grip, we have the memory card door. The R7 takes a dual SD card. So for instant backup, you can choose to shoot one file type to one card and something else to the other. And on the other side, we have the inputs for HDMI, USB-C for charging and also data transfer, microphone input and headphone output for monitoring audio when you shoot videos. Great to have all of these options. On the front, we have a new feature, which is the MFAF switch. So you can select between manual focus and autofocus. I like this because it also includes a customizable button that you can assign to your shooting preference. Really handy if you want a quick access to a certain feature. And on the camera at the moment, we have one of the new RFS lenses. This is the RF 18 to 150 mil, a really compact and lightweight travel zoom lens, which covers all the way from a wide angle lens to telephoto, meaning your kit is even easier to carry around. The RFS lenses are designed to get the most out of the APS-C sensor, which is built into the EOS R7. Something great about the new RFS lenses is that you can also use them on the full frame cameras in the EOS R range. So if you upgrade down the track to a full frame camera, you can still use these lenses. Finally, on the bottom of the camera, we have the battery compartment. The EOS R7 takes the high capacity LPE 6NH battery, which is great if you're upgrading from something like the EOS 80D or 90D or one of the other Canon cameras that have used these batteries in the past, because you'll be able to use your old batteries in the new camera. Now that we've taken a look at the outside of the camera, I'm going to run you through some of the key features that makes the EOS R7 really versatile option for creatives, whether you're shooting stills or movies. The R7 and the R10 are the first APS-C censored cameras from Canon in the new EOS R mirrorless system. APS-C censored cameras are sometimes called crop sensor cameras. They have smaller sensors than their bigger full frame cousins, which means the camera themselves can be smaller. They tend to be a bit more affordable as well. Cameras have come a long way in the last couple of years and the switch to mirrorless has driven a lot of innovation. With the EOS R7, we're now seeing a lot of this new tech available on an APS-C sensor camera for the first time. Until now, you might have had to buy a full frame camera to access a lot of the new innovations that built into the EOS R7. It's great to see this now available for a new audience. For example, the R7 has in-body image stabilization for the first time on this level of Canon camera. Perfect for shooting handheld and delivering sharp images in either low light conditions or with longer telephoto lenses. You can get up to eight stops of image stabilization through coordinated control with some of the RF lens range, which include lens based stabilizers. If shooting video content is your thing, the EOS R7 can capture clips at up to 4K 60p using the full width of the sensor for beautiful high quality clips. You can also slow things down and shoot at full HD 120p for that cinematic slow motion look. 
Another feature we're seeing in the APS-C sensor cameras for the first time is advanced subject tracking, which is a game changer when shooting moving subjects. From humans to animals to motorsports, whether you're shooting stills or video, the camera is able to detect a variety of subjects and tracking them as they move through the frame ensuring you get sharp focus where you want it and freeing the photographer up to focus on the composition. If you're shooting fast moving subjects like wildlife or sport, you'll love the 30 frames per second continuous shooting speed. This is the same fast shooting speed which is built into the EOS R3 professional sports camera. These are full resolution raw images and the R7 will even automatically adjust the focus and exposure between every frame, 30 frames per second. So again, you're getting so much great tech in the R7 for a fraction of the price of the full frame models. There's also a few new features built into the EOS R7 to make it easier to get great content. Panorama Shot Mode lets you capture a series of images which get stitched together for you in camera. Great for capturing those beautiful landscapes or you can use it when shooting a vertical to fit in a tall building or tower into the shot. Sometimes when shooting handheld you might not get a perfect level horizon but the EOS R7 has a new inbuilt level feature. So whether you're shooting stills or video, the camera will make a subtle adjustment for you to take the hassle out of fixing the content in an editing program. For many people, the R7 might be their first mirrorless camera after years of shooting on a DSLR. One big difference that mirrorless cameras have is an electronic viewfinder rather than an optical viewfinder found on the DSLR cameras. To make this transition easier, the electronic viewfinder of the R7 has a special mode called OVF Viewfinder Assist. This adjusts the property of the viewfinder to make it perform more like an optical viewfinder found on a DSLR camera. If macro is your thing, there's a focus stacking feature built in which will take a series of images at slightly different focal points, delivering a beautiful image full of detail which just can't be captured in one frame. And finally, raw burst shooting mode with 0.5 seconds of pre-shooting. In this mode, the R7 will not only capture 30 frames per second, but all of the action from half a second before you press the button. Perfect for those unexpected moments that you might have otherwise just missed. As you can see, the EOS R7 is really a full featured camera with a lot of tech that has only previously been available in a pro level body. We're excited to see what people create with it, so get into your local store and check out the EOS R7 as soon as it's available.